Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from Insolent Audits. Older women are worried that men are not going to be their retirement plan anymore. My men. Please ask them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. Let's jump. You know what I really can't stand about dating at this big age of 39? Look, I'm grown. Like, I'm about to be 40 over the hill grown, right? Why are we still talking about virtue? Are you sure about to be over the hill? I think you were over the hill a little bit ago, queen. Or body count. Like, that matters like i am dating a bunch of divorcees who cheated on their wife who have multiple children by multiple partners me included that's no sounds like you're just picking horrible horrible men no shade but let's just illustrate facts we got kids they weren't the immaculate conception why are y'all acting brand new we are sifting through the clearance rack of love looking for a partner and you want to talk about virtue she's got to be some humor she's got to be mindful i'm not i'm not i don't yeah, I gotta act like I ain't been out here when I have. If y'all don't get the out of here, I'm not doing this. I How masculine is this lady right now? Holy. I barely find the time to commit to a date, to, to, to agree to a location and show up looking like a presentable human being. If the stars align and put us in the same place, I'm supposed to hope that that statistical anomaly can reoccur enough times for me to justify sleeping with you when I already know that I want to. Do you know how long it's been? I'm sick of this shit. I gotta pretend I'm not a He's gonna think you're I don't like it! Sorry. The voices. Well, I'm glad you asked that, Colleen. I could actually answer that question for you. See, the reason men still talk about virtue or body count is because age does not give you a pass on what no. men want. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like just because you're older, it means you can't, you don't have to be virtuous anymore. Like what the fuck? Saying that at your age, you're supposed to have a near zero body count or virtue. What I'm saying is that men want women with low body counts and virtue, i.e., younger women. No, we were 39 or more to the point, the men that you are attracted to are not attracted to women who are 39. Mm -hmm. Men who are in their mid to late 30s, early 40s that you women want, want younger women. Not to mention, you said yourself that you're dating a bunch of divorcees who cheated on their wives with multiple children. Guess what? That's your choice. This is why men always say choose better, i.e. you keep choosing the chads in your age. And you're absolutely right about sifting through the clearance rack looking for a partner at this age. Guess what? You're the one who's on the clearance rack, honey. You are a deep discounter. <laughs> you're two steps from being a goodwill. I mean, that egg carton is super low, isn't it? For the life of me. Why is it that a divorced woman who admits to have multiple baby daddies believes that she is entitled to choose from the top picks? Right. Or doesn't want the men to judge her because they're just as bad as she is. That only begs the question, sweetie. Then why are you judging them since you're both at the same level? All I gotta say, Queen, is a good thing that you accept that you are out there right in the carousel and tasting all those different sausages and saying that there is no reason to complain about paying the price that comes with that. Deal with it, honey. Men sure have to. I mean, it's not easy to pleasure a woman when it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway, now is it? Before we move on, I want to bring attention to the fact that 79% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Come on, fam. You've seen my logo on other channels and you're already here. Please yeah. So I cover his channel all the time. Give the man some support. Please hit that subscribe button and support the channel. It really helps out. Moving on. Hey, loves. Hope all is well. So glad that you guys enjoyed my video yesterday about thinking that women are unreasonable about asking guys to do the little things, right? The little things add so much dividend to your relationship. And men, flowers, a card here and there, little note make her coffee give her money for lunch you would be surprised what the fuck does she do why do i always have to please you guys men only please women like men just have to just be here just to please you in every single way every little thing that we do has to be pleasing to you and make you happy what about us what do you do for us other than stinky coochie and I'm almost positive that's all you got. Guys, that these little gestures with a woman who um, would appreciate that, who is kind and meets your energy, oh, dividends. Now, yes, if you're with a woman who's ungrateful, nothing can pacify her, nothing can satisfy her. It doesn't matter what the hell you do, it's not going to make a difference. But this is why it's really important to connect with the right people on your level and vibration to begin with. And that kind of brings me to this video about this whole saga about 50-50, should men split the check with women, blah, 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 blah. So again, 
a lot of our problems would be non-problems if we just connected and vibed and decided to go into a relationship with people that were an even keel, right? If a man asks me out for lunch, dinner, whatever, and asks me to split the bill, I kindly say, no problem. I give them the check and then I get back to my place of residence and I say, so very nice to meet you, but I don't think that we've made a connection that I was hoping for. Oh, I don't care about money, but uh, if he doesn't pay for it, uh, I'm just not going to deal with them. Oh, Queen. This gorilla can honestly say that. There was zero surprise on my part that yeah. you were going to demand a man pays for everything. You started off your entire video saying, me, me, me. Do this for me. Man, you can get so much further if you do the little things for women. You don't want just the little things. You want everything. Mm -hmm. He's going to pay the bill. He's got to provide you a lifestyle and do the little things. What else does he need to do for you, honey? Rock you to sleep at night? And that is the problem with modern dating, especially with these five decades plus post-war Halloweens with empty egg cartons. You have less to offer to men, but you demand more. I don't understand that. As women age, their demands go higher and higher. Well, their value goes lower and lower. Unfortunately, in their imaginations, they actually believe their value goes higher. I have to ask, what do you offer? What do you bring to the table? Off Nothing. rip, a lower egg count. Okay, cool. Off rip, you're already setting your ways. Wonderful. Off rip, you're already demanding more. Those are three negatives. Where are the positives, ladies? Oh, let me guess. Experiences. Like if men cared about your experiences. Oh, my job. I have a job. Awesome. Men don't care. Especially when trying house. to make them pay for everything. Oh, that you have a house. Awesome. Again, the only man who's interested in your house would be somebody who needs to live off of you. Not the guy you're attracted to. Sweetie, the things that you're supposed to be offering a man to be able to demand all these things, you don't have them anymore. Starting off, I mean, you're gonna, what are you going to offer him? Smash roast beef and that's almost as dry as beef jerky? Ooh. See, I'm personally not going to go on a first date with a man who is so stingy that he won't even pay for my meal. I'm sorry. For me, it's bigger than being a womanist. It's bigger than me being able to pay for my own bloody sandwich. It's about generosity and kindness for me. And if I had asked him out on the date, I would have absolutely um, have paid. When, when have you ever asked them out on a date, lady? Let me know how many times you've asked men out on dates and paid. Because I asked him to join me, right? And I do that with my family and friends. Like, Oh, yeah. So you do it with family and friends, but you don't do it with men that you're interested with. It's a matter of generosity and kindness. So not you're only generous to family and friends, but you're not generous to this stranger that is supposed to be generous with you, even though he doesn't really know you so much um the status quo and who should and who shouldn't it's a matter of kindness and if you can't even pay for half of my meal when you are trying to get to know me you're trying to court me you're trying to see where we're at and you're not even generous enough to pay for my meal you're probably not a man who's going to be generous during our relationship and being that i'm a very generous person i need to connect and vibe with someone broke Dusty, musty, crusty. One who's not. I've been on the other side of that and it doesn't end well. So it's not always just about, oh, women should do this, men should do this. It's funny when women, I'm interrupting a lot, say like, oh, I've been through that. It didn't end well. You also have been through a lot of dick and a lot of Ray Rays and Pookies, but you still pick them. So what the fuck are you talking about? Whenever some good guy does something bad, oh, it becomes a fucking ick now. But when the fucking Chad and Tyrones do it, you don't give a fuck. That, for me, it's a matter of being kind, generous, because, you know, you men talk about you want to lead and you want me to submit, but you can't even buy me a sandwich. Sandwich? It's not going to end well, not going to fare well. So I'll leave you to it for somebody else. Can you even make a sandwich? Who will uh, let you make you pay 50% for their meal. Not me. Have a great day, guys. Love and light. Cheers. Drizzle, drizzle. Bye. Does not compute. Does not compute. Does not compute. Hold up there, my decades plus post war advanced queen. Did you just say that paying for things is about generosity for you? So, in other words, you're not going to pay for a man because you have zero generosity. Correct. Or if he makes you pay just half the bill, you don't have enough generosity to even do that.
What's up with these double standards? These rules are good for thee, but not for me? And sweetie, I ask you to stop bloody capping when you said that if, if you asked him out on the date, you would have paid. Number one, you would have never asked. Number two, if you had to pay for the date, you would come up with a different excuse not to go out with him anymore. Yep. And as always, you're going to put up the excuse. You're trying to court me, trying to get to know me. No snap, lady. Guess what? A date is a two-way street. Both of you have to get to know each other. You're just pulling it out of your rear end right now just to have excuses because you want the princess treatment. You want everything paid for and you want to feel special. Well, guess what? When you're that close to menopause, if you haven't hit it already, anything that was special about you expired about 30 years ago. Ooh. Now, can somebody in the comments explain to me how this special queen can claim that she's a generous person while at the same time she's complaining about having to pay her half of the meal? Just like saying I'm a very nice person while I knock the candy out of the hands of a kid just to hear him cry. Funny thing <laughs> about this uh, elderly queen spiel, she's talking about how the guy's in good leadership material because he can't buy her a sandwich, but she obviously has a problem making a guy a sandwich. Mm -hmm. But you go on by your bad self and enjoy your collection of cats and box wine. Moving on. This is for all my single friends over 50. Why do you think it's so difficult to find companionship at our age? It's tough. I didn't think it was gonna be this difficult to ever find someone just to- See, these women are just genuinely lying. They did not think it was gonna be this difficult. I'm almost 100% positive men and women have been telling you through this throughout all of your life and then you hit 50 and then all of a sudden what happened why are all the good men share the simple pleasures of life but man it's it's crazy out there whether you use a dating app i know meeting someone through another friend that doesn't always end up too good when it doesn't work out. I don't know. Maybe we've got to figure this code out. Are we wanting too much? Are we expecting too much? Yeah, a little bit. I know that I'm not. I mean, at this point... <laughs> I'm going to ask the question and say, no, you know, I'm not any of those things. I'm in our lives, most of us have our own dwellings, jobs. Obviously, we're supporting ourselves. We took all the filling out of the pie. So it should just be fun, companionship, laughter. And yet, it's stupid how difficult it is. Companionship, laughter, I'm sure you'll find a man, but I'm sure there's money requirement, there's some kind of height requirement, some kind of inches requirement. So if you break the code and you want to share it with me, I'd love to know what it is. Time is ticking. Not fair! You say that so? Oh, is that what? They call it TikTok because so many older women are there talking about how miserable they are because time has passed them by. <laughs> wonder what your basis of comparison is. Okay, time is ticking now, Queen. The clock already rang. All right, mm. here's the thing no matter how many women her age say that they don't have high standards and whatnot, that's not true. They do have high standards. I'm sorry, it has been shown. Time and again, the older women get, the more they demand. And at the same time, the less they have to offer. Okay, even if this Coeen says that she's modest and she dates modestly, I promise you, she will not date a man who she considers is beneath her level. You see, Coeen, if you want to crack the code, it's real simple. Stop using a man's measurement of success as your own measurement of success. Do what men do. Date down, as you Coeens like to put it. Stop demanding high standards. Even your own standards are high. Why? Because you cannot offer a man anything that a younger woman cannot offer and more. More than likely, the men that this Coeen is attracted to can pull in younger women. Let me come at this from another angle. Postmenopause Coeens, let me put, th put it this way. Out of the hundred men in your age category that are available for dating, the vast majority of them are divorced. They're not going to put up with a lot of games from you. That's number one. Number two, the most attractive of them can pull in younger women. So they'll be dating somebody younger than you. Number three, Whatever's left over, you are competing with other women your age. And number four, there's a high likelihood you're already set in your ways. 
And number five, no matter how much you deny it, you still believe that you can pull in the same caliber of man at the age of 50 that you could when you she were does. in your 20s. Heck, even does. your 30s. It's not that complicated, Cody. Even though results say different, they still think they can still pull the same kind of men. Queens, and it's also no secret that men your age probably just want to smash that roast beef. Maybe hang out here and there. Not go on some extravagant vacation with you to hit the road with but hey why don't you join a travel forum maybe you'll find your co-pilot there move it on when it comes down to men and relationships and marriage it's very simple it comes down really to two things men get into relationship or marriage for two reasons the first reason being they should and the second what because they should then what should you women do isn't that something, if, if men should do it, then shouldn't women be doing it? And, but you guys don't seem to care. The reason being, they are head over heels in love because they found their dream girl. Now, what do I mean by they should? You know, it's time for them to settle down. Um, you know, it's more convenient for them to have someone. Maybe they've been dating someone for a very long time and like, oh, well, she stuck it out this long. May as well. The second... The way you say it, she stuck it out this long, might as well. Do you not realize you stuck it out this long, so she's worth it? She she didn't fuck me over. We've been together for so long. She still supports me. She still does things for me. So yes, I will want to marry her. Why, why, do, not, why do they not think of that thought process? One, they found their dream girl, their head over heels in love. You know, they happened upon this person, they weren't looking, and they are going to do everything in their power to make sure that this woman stays in their lives. And let's be clear, dream girls, um, the ones where their man is head over heels in love with them, and the man is going to be a provider in that relationship, um, those aren't 50-50 guys. Um, if he wants to go 50-50 with you, it's very simple. You're not his dream girl. He's not head over heels in love with you. You are so fucking stupid. He might like you. He might love the way you feel about him or the way that you make him feel about himself, but you're not the dream girl. And I know many couples i know couples where found the dream girl he would do anything in his power to keep her and i know the couples where it's like well i auto and uh there's a palpable difference mom say that happiness is from magic rays of sunshine that come down when you're feeling blue well well uh, well one of my favorite multi-decades post-wall queens made another video i had to comment particularly her second reason for a man wanting a relationship and getting married his dream girl and he would do everything in his power to keep her in the marriage of course even if i had a dream girl i would not do everything in my power to keep her if she doesn't want me then fuck off in there my opinionated queen your ex-husband the one who built your dream home and everything was he that man who was head over heels for his dream girl aka you when you were in your prime and he did everything in his power to keep said dream girl but somehow some way his dream girl which he obviously provided a lot for her he did he wasn't the 50 50 guy mm -hmm. he paid for everything still dropped those divorce papers Oof. Mm -hmm. i guess we can see now why 50 50 is a smarter way to go it weeds out those dream girls that have to go find themselves again <laughs> after he builds her a 7,000 foot square home. Sister, I'm just gonna say it. You had the dream guy that 99.9% .9 of women out there would have loved to have had, and you let him go. And somehow, some way, you actually believe that in you letting go of the dream man, this qualifies you to give out advice to other women when you yourself can't find another man, or mm -hmm. more specifically, you can't find a guy equal to the man you left. Now that begs another question there, Colleen. If fifis are so important, why do you keep insisting that a guy has to pay for everything when you had a guy who paid for everything? I mean, he bankrolled your dream. Hmm. I guess these raising at dating gurus have some chinks in their armor. Fatality. Flawless victory. Shout out to our gorilla auditor always being savage to these women. And to tell you the truth, a lot of these women deserve it. Actually, most of these women deserve it. I can't think of very many that don't. At least on the videos that he always features, that we always feature. Most of these women do deserve the shame. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. Catch you guys next time. Ciao.